I guess I'm always a little bit nervous. I've seen people with my hair color and my complexion go lighter before and they get a little bit brassy and that's something I really want to avoid. I don't want to have <laughs> orange toned hair. Hi, I'm Hania. Today I'm getting some caramel highlights and balayage along with some curtain bangs and I'm excited to see what happens. So growing up, my mom always made me have really short hair because it is very thick and she thought it would be too, too difficult for a young child to manage. I spent most of my childhood with like terrible bowl cuts and mushroom cuts. One time when I went in for my regular mushroom slash bowl cut, the hairdresser was a little bit overzealous and I wound up with a pixie cut. And later that day when my uncle was driving me somewhere, he got pulled over for running a red light and the cop was like, is that your son back there? And I remember my uncle distinctly saying, um, no, that's my niece. And he said, niece or nephew? And I just remember in that moment being like, I cannot wait until I'm older and I'm allowed to have long flowing hair. So I'll never be confused for a boy again. And as soon as I got into my teens, I was known for being the girl with the, the super long hair. I'm really looking forward to this transformation because right now my hair is just super long and thick and it hasn't been cut with the pandemic. Hi, I'm Kay. Nice to meeting you. Hi, I'm Hania. Nice to meet you as well. My name is Kei Hirata. I'm a director of 3 d Salon. What would you like to do today? So I'd like to cut off a little bit of this hair, but I still want it to be somewhat long. I want to add some dimension to my hair. Sounds great. Let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. We did a rough cut first. We're gonna cut four inch off on the bottom. What I'm most excited for is just feeling lighter, <laughs> not dragging around uh, what right now feels like a horse's tail. I'm excited to have a new look. I'm excited to be able to run my hands through my lighter hair. After that, we're gonna do a bleach with the foil. Also using uh, backcombing uh, teasing techniques to blend it in, the natural color and the highlight. My mom would not let me dye my hair growing up. She always said that I could dye it when I got a job. So the first thing I did when I turned 22 and got my first job after school was go to the hair salon. And I got like this red, purple ombre and it looked really good up until I needed to go get it toned again. <laughs> After that, I'm gonna do a full haircut, putting more layer towards to the front. A couple years ago, I chopped off 16 inches of my hair and I had a short bob for a little bit. Um, I can't say I liked it that much. <laughs> so I'm happy to have long hair again. After that, we're gonna do a single color process to the whole hair to give a caramel color to the highlight parts. Then we're gonna do a uh, texturizing the whole hair. Lastly, cut the bangs. And then for the finishing, we use the curling nylon, about one inch and a half. And here's the final look.
Oh my goodness. The bangs, the color, the length. Wow. I love everything about it. I feel so much lighter. I just want to keep playing with it. This is perfect. It's shorter, it's lighter, but it's still really long. It gives me the layers and the framing of the face that I wanted, so I feel very glam and I feel good and confident. This is so much better than what I thought it could have been. I am so happy. Thanks for watching my transformation. To see more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.